Restogen is back. And let me go over the reason it's back and the reason it was gone for so long. Yes, the truck's already been given away technically. The winner is Corey Brandsgrove from Oklahoma. Yes, he is aware that he has won the truck. He was contacted the first week in January and he's been awaiting this moment ever since. Although he's not gonna be here with us today, the truck is gonna be getting shipped out approximately Monday or Tuesday of next week in just a few days. But what we gotta do first is a few things that we promised early on in the giveaway that we gotta follow through with, of course, because we wanna finish the truck for him, and that's what we're gonna do. I tried to wash it down, I just got it picked up. I don't know how many of you guys remember, but this truck needed to have the pump retuned. After I did the 3200 Governor Spring and the fuel pin, it just wouldn't build boost, it didn't accelerate very well. I mean, you couldn't really get it over 40 miles an hour. I mean, it, it was a struggle. So we dropped it off to have the pump retuned, and it runs amazing now starts up quick idles great drives great builds 25 30 pounds of boost quick now i mean it's awesome runs amazing not only that we did also get the center console installed in the truck it's all nice and clean it's all been vacuumed out looks good seats center console center console looks fabulous turned out very well even got the little leather skirt down there flips up it does sit just a hair higher than the rest of the seats. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why, but it does. It sits a little bit higher than the other seats, but it's sitting flat on the brackets and it's bolted in. So I don't know. It's one of those weird things I don't really understand, uh, but it was like that when it had the cloth seats in it as well. When it had the old beat up seats in the truck, it sat higher than the other two as well. Not really sure if it's a first gen thing with these center consoles in them or if it's this specific truck and there's just something weird about it, but uh, that's the way it sits. Otherwise though, it works good. You can still shift to your gears and everything okay and uh, it's functional. So the things that we still gotta do for Corey before this truck ships out on Monday or Tuesday of next week is Devin's gonna be installing a lift on this truck this weekend and he's gonna be getting that done for us. Then it's going to be getting aligned. Tint is gonna be getting thrown on actually probably tomorrow. That's. Pretty much it. Everything else is already on and it's good to go. And I know it might seem kind of odd that the truck's even back because we haven't really talked about it in a long time because I dropped this off before Christmas is when I dropped this off at the shop. And uh, let's just say it was there for a very long time for what I thought would be a very simple job. But then again, I couldn't do it myself, which is why I took it to the shop. So, you know, whatever, that's what I get. But of course, we do have other things going on other than just the first gen. We've got Mega Jeep here. And uh, you can see where the tires were rubbing on the fender every time we hit some huge bumps it would just throw these tires up and just smack on the fender and uh other than that though i mean it spins them good it drives good it's actually hilarious how functional this really is of course it does just suck up a lot of power but it's also just a lot of fun And now guys, we're going to be working on the Mega Jeep. And what we're gonna be doing is actually putting, hopefully, this is gonna be the goal, cannot guarantee it's gonna go smooth as I'm hoping, but our goal is gonna be to throw the front three inch spacer leveling kit on in new shocks. So here's the shocks, they're actually rough countries. They're supposed to be from like three and a half inch for when you do like a little bit bigger spacer. And that's actually what we're gonna to do today. This isn't gonna make it like drastically different, I don't think, but it is a three inch spacer. So we're gonna to try to jack the front end up, throw some jack stands underneath the frame in a couple spots drop the axle, throw these on, and uh, hopefully it goes as smooth as we're hoping. But you know, we hope for that every time. I'm gonna feel really stupid if that's supposed to like unthread or something. Did we tell him that, you know, like I was like, Cutting that off and it on threads. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. People be acting like they don't like the two to Jeep. They will. 
Make sure you tell them it took us like five minutes. Yeah, it took five minutes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We got the coils in on both sides with the spacers. You want to show the spacers up close? Putting in the shock on this side now. We already have the shocking on the other side. It's supposed to be a three inch leveling kit and we got three and a half inch to like five inch rough country shocks. And three and a half hours later, we have three more inches of lift on the Mega Jeep and it's ready to back out. What the heck? So that's the only way you can do it in the Malibu, huh? Yeah, front wheel drive don't really work. <laughs> Here's the Jeep in the daylight. We got that front lift kit put on, just a three inch spacer with the rough country shocks. I don't know how it's gonna ride yet. We took off the, um, you know, those things that kind of like align it a little bit, you know, like that run down the middle of the coil to kind of help make sure that it stays in place. Well, uh, let's just say we cut them off and looked like they were probably just threaded on there, but we just could not get them off any other way. But um, we should be good. We're gonna give her a rip, see how she does. of my life <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've seen a lot of stuff in my life but that was awesome <laughs> you gonna try it I do <laughs> it's so this fun. thing sounds dude it crazy. actually it actually rides a lot better really in the front end you used to feel like this clunking because of the it's almost like that guy that runs down in the middle of the coil would like rub up against the coils but since we cut it off we don't have that problem anymore <laughs> Is that not the greatest experience of your life? I don't know, the Malibu is a little bit better, but... Bring the Malibu out here. Now, if you get the Malibu, okay, actually, you should probably stay in the arena. Why, if we get stuck, can't you just pull it? That's true, well, we can try, yeah. Now 
remember, you said the Malibu doesn't get stuck. It doesn't. Don't worry about it. A few moments later. Thought you said the Mali didn't get stuck. We're not stuck yet. Just wait. <laughs> You're getting close. Yeah, we're stuck. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see if we can give it a good old push. You ready? Yep. I mean, he almost got stuck, but those front wheel drive cars, that's pretty impressive. Bro, the two wheel drive dually is where it's at. <laughs> Whoa, look at th oh, this is the best. No power in the front end is perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're gonna get stuck right here. Throw it in reverse. <laughs> I was like, there's no way we're gonna make it up that hill in two-wheel drive. Unstoppable, eh? Yeah, it was in two-wheel drive, got stuck. It was in four part-time, wouldn't go anywhere. Put it four low and it just kind of, the whole thing started like vibrating and just walked itself out. That's gonna be it for this video. The new lift is on the Jeep, new shocks are on the Jeep. That went smooth, we got the first gen back. It's gonna be getting uh, shipped out here first thing next week. And I let you guys know what all happened with that and all the things that we finalized on it and that are about to be finalized on it this weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button if you want this video to get shown to more people. If you wanna help the channel grow, you wanna help this video find new viewers, you gotta hit that like button and leave a comment. That's how that works and then YouTube's like, oh, people like this. And then they'll share it with more people. Remember, if you wanna to enter to win our silver 24 valve, the truck we're giving away this month, the giveaway for that ends in 10 days and then it's over. Link is in the description or just type in lmpgear.com. Go to the website, buy anything off the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win the truck you see on our website there, plus $5,000 cash. The giveaway ends on February 15th. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It was kind of like, it's like a deer snorting. Like He's like, oh, there's somebody in my bed. He's not happy.